All right, um, to do a problem like this, when you pick your nose, what you have here is we have the product of two binomials. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we, there's a couple things I wanted you to remember. Remember, we said the square root of a times b equals the square root of a times the square root of b, right? Yes, that was how we used that last problem. Well, what that means then, if I have the square root of a times the square root of b, that equals the square root of a times b. So what that means is you can multiply these. So I could do 12 times 20 and 4 times 3. That might be, it's going to get a little bit bigger number. That's going to get us all the way up to 240. So what I can do is say, all right, how can I simplify this? So what I take is 4 times square root. How can I, bre how can I simplify 12? I can simplify. I thought you were making those squares. Uh, that's for a binomial. We'll do the squares. OK. You can still do it like this. It's just, it still is a square. It still is a rectangle. But there's only one. It's a monomial times a monomial, right? So it's still you're still doing the area, but it's just one term times another term. When you have a binomial times a binomial or trinomial, then it's really helpful to make the square because you have multiple terms. Here you just have these. So then I say, all right, how can I rewrite 20? Well, I can do that times three, square root of four times five, right? And we always want to rewrite them in terms of square numbers, Tim always in terms of square numbers, where 4 is our square number. Because now, can I take the square root of 4? Yes. Yes. Yep. Does it have to be 4 No. Let's do this. Let's do square root of 20. Can it be like 5 times Let's look at it. Yeah. Well, let's look at it this way. If I had a square root of 20. If I broke that up into square root of 4 times 5, right? Can you take the square root of 4? Yes. So the actual, so we can do a simplified answer, which is 2 square root of 5, right? Does that kind of make sense, what I did? OK. Let's do, how about 10 and 2, right? Because you could also rewrite 20 as 10 times 2. Now, the problem with writing it as 10 times 2, do we know the square root of 10? No. No. Do we know the square root of 2? Yeah. No. no. So guess what? We, it's the same answer, right? We can't simplify it. Here, we can simplify the square root of 4 down to 2. So this is a more simplified answer. That's why, we, well, that's why, that's why you always want to pick divisors that at least one of them is a square number. Now, I just multiply this. So I get 8 square root of 3 times 6 square root of 5. And then I just multiply. 8 times 3, 8 times 6, I'm sorry, is 48. Square root of 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15. And there you go. <laughs> Make sense? Questions? Answers? It no? Actually does make sense.